From Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news, this is the Fox 13 5 o'clock news. Well, this all comes down to a matter of pride. Who can lay claim to inventing the Cuban sandwich, Tampa or Miami? Well, there's one ingredient that makes the difference. Salami or no salami, it's the sandwich battle that's dividing the state. I'm Lloyd Towers. I'll have the tasty story. All right, what do you like on your Cuban sandwich? Tonight, there's a new controversy that has all the ingredients for a sandwich war right here in Florida. This week, Tampa City Council is going to designate the Cuban as Tampa's signature sandwich. But ah, the mayor of Miami says, wait a minute, you're stealing our sandwich. As Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers discovers today, it's all about a certain piece of meat and a few toppings. Lunchtime at the historic Columbia restaurant in Ybor City for a story I can really sink my teeth into. Where did Cuban sandwiches come from? So our version was definitely invented in Tampa, specifically probably in Ybor City. Fifth generation restaurateur Andrea Gonsmart learned to make Cubans around the time she learned the alphabet with ham, roast pork, and a third meat, salami, which is central to the controversy. The very legitimacy of Tampa's claim to the Cuban sandwich has been questioned by the mayor of Miami, who chuckled when he was shown the salami, saying true Cubans don't have that. He says in all of Little Havana, you won't find salami on a single Cuban. And he's challenging Tampa to a taste test. Pickles or no pickles? Pickles. Uh, pressed or not pressed? Pressed. The mayor's not Cuban, but he's Irish, as in fighting. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, you know, I put my eye black on. I'm ready to go out and hit somebody. <laughs> the Cigar City may have history on its side. More than 100 years ago, Ybor City's melting pot of all kinds of immigrants, they layered their favorites atop that Cuban bread. The hand comes from the Spaniards, the pork comes from the Cubans, the salami comes from the Italians, and then a lot of people don't realize there was German immigrants that came to Ybor City. And that's where the mustard and the pickles come from. In fact, you could call them tampon sandwiches. But Ybor City isn't giving up its claim to the Cuban. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now, Tampa City Council will designate the Cuban as our official sandwich on Thursday. So far, no word yet on if or when Miami will try to intervene.